Hey guys, this video goes out to all the Ghanaians back home wishing and hoping to come to the UK London to look for a better life and for and for jobs. If that is what you are looking for, I'm here to tell you to forget about it. I'm sure you've all heard about us going through a recession at the moment. Life here is not easy at all. Not easy. Even for those of us who are already here or even born here, it's not easy at all. Life is expensive here. Standard of living has increased. The tax has increased ridiculously. Road tax for car is very expensive. Insurance, very expensive. You have to MOT your car yearly, not cheap. You have to service your car to as and when, which is also not cheap. Ghanaians who have already made it here are working three jobs to support themselves. Three jobs. They come here and they go for first job, come home. Second job, come home. Third job, come home. Sleep maybe two, three hours and then they're back out again to first job and repeating the whole cycle again. To support yourself isn't easy. The money they take out from your salary after tax is not worth having. It's very small. You may as well not even have any money. And I went to Ghana 2005. And I heard stories about Ghanaians wanting to come here and to get money uh, from jobs that they could get from here, get a better life and such and such. And you know what? When I came to Ghana, I saw how sweet the life was. You get you guys enjoy very well. When it rains there, you can even stay at home and not even go to work. If if the weather is not good at all, you stay home, not go to work, or you wait for the weather to subside, and if you choose to go to work, you choose to go to work. In this country, whether it rains, it snows, or even the world is coming to an end, cry, you still have to go to work. No excuses. You can't be late. Otherwise, your job is on the line. To maintain a living here, is not as easy as you people think because we come to Ghana and we look well dressed and fresh as you perceive us does not mean that we are having it easy and we are enjoying here me wo wo me wa ha wo tete me wa ha me ejuma wa ha and so enye easy mame nti mo fi say make us some way because me 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 fi me fi Ghana and by India, then change your mind because even though say wa wo me wa ha wo tete me wa ha me ye juma wa ha wa ha enye easy e se me ye juma and on top of that too me ye overtime just to get more money for holiday and to keep myself up with other things too and every time i go Ghana i hear the same story Oh, you look very fresh. Oh, you look sweet. How this London life is very good over there. How I wish I could be in Ghana. Share. Sure. The way we too, we wish we were in Ghana. And you, imagine you wishing that you were here. You better change your mind though. Most of some margin. Most of some margin sees I have said. And you're easy. Mubaha. And you're there. You come and stress yourself out for no reason. And you don't need to do that. Stay in Ghana. You guys, you can go job, come back home, and even go out to bar, drink Mota Guinness, Super Malts, Golden Sparks, and the likes. You can even go to chop bar, chop bar, and chop your mouth with Banku, Fufu, and Red Red. You can do all that. Here, when we come back from work, it, for one, it is dark. For two, we are tired because we're stressed and we've worked ourselves down to the ground. And three, we have to sleep and rest because we have to wake up early to make it to work the next day. Lateness is not an excuse because our job will be on the line. It's not so over there. 
So please, life in Ghana is very sweet. Enjoy it whilst you are there and don't be wishing anything. We here, we wish we were there. We wish we were there. So don't wish that you were here because life is, is not worth the hassle where UK is concerned. It's too stressful and too, just too stressful. Too stressful for you to come here and bother yourself with that. And yet, easy. Indeed, don't come and bother yourself with that. Menti video where now just say, Oh me Oboriba, I'm discouraging you from coming. Don't think that at all. Ignore the fact that my skin colour is lighter than your own. Ignore that. Me too, I'm a Ghanaian and I'm just advising you from what I have seen so far. Okay. Bye.